even science will now admit that they don't even know 5% of 5%, um, like where we are, where we're from, where we're going, stuff like that. Um, you know, what is uh, time, what is past, present, future, what is gravity, what is density, what is magnetism. Um, they actually don't know. These are all theories. Yeah. That, that are agreed upon. And they're all and theories that, the way that they operate is that, post 1850 as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, as an example, right? So, a lot of people will say that there's no such thing as aliens. Well, you have to have a definition and reach first principles as what an alien is. So, hypothetically, let's say, let's say the Earth realm, whatever shape it is, it's a stage. Okay. Now, it could be a stage for be beings or creatures from other places. I'm not going to say planets or even dimensions, but let's just say other worlds that can project themselves to this platform to experience the interaction between different species. So you could actually say that every single creature that you can see and interact with in this realm is an alien, a projected alien. Now, when you, when, when you alter your perception, and remember, our perceptions are based on some kind of uh, dogma or indoctrination, you can start to see things in different, different light. So wherever uh, these other worlds are, including ourselves, as it's, let's say human species, um, there may only be one species in that, in that domain. There's actually no need to have all these different uh, interspecies. It's actually quite so archaic. Species, yeah, it makes no sense at all. Um, so we maybe we're here. Maybe this is some kind of like uh, holiday resort, um, or dimension, or platform, or stage where we get to experience different change, and and then you extend that to the forces as well. So. So going back to, to you know, the, the subject of aliens, which is just one of many subjects, once you alter the way that you view things, uh, frequency, dogma, or education, you may actually start to see things in a different, different light, different spectrum, different part of the spectrum of light. Mm, absolutely. And, you know, there's so much going on in this realm. You know, you've got the sun and the moon, you've got 24-hour cycles. You know, what is that? You know, why do we sleep? Why do we dream? You know, this whole question of um, the Great Awakening, why do we awake? What's the difference between being awake and being asleep? And where do we go when we're asleep? And it's all based on brain waves, for the most part. And why do we experience different brain waves? And if this realm is an extension of, of us, then surely that may mean that in a 24 hour cycle, the, the earth realm goes through different brain waves. And this is what the dark occult world know. And this is why they do things on particular days at particular times. The same way, if you want inspiration, um, you can gain more inspiration in, in the dream state or theta. Do you know what's really interesting that you started talking about this? Um, I don't normally delve into old Netflix, but a, a, the big news show on Netflix is actually called Sandman. And it's a, it's this fantasy thing about the Sandman, the Lord of Dreams, and how he got kidnapped by some mortals throughout the Victorian era, and that caused the sleeping sickness. And obviously this thing is fully loaded with all of the rainbow trans agenda and stuff like that. We actually had to turn it off because they were talking about maps. Oh. <laughs> right um but the point i'm making is is that it was going in heavily into the massive significance of the dream world and how as soon as the lord of dreams was kidnapped by a mortal and imprisoned that basically the dream world started collapsing so all these people were slipping into this unconscious days um weird shit started happening in the world and that actually did happen there was a sleeping right. sickness in the victorian era uh, where loads of people just uh, all around the world started um sleeping yeah. yeah. What, just like well, just passing out? Hmm. I mean, even if you just take the, the basic um, uh, subjects of, of brainwaves, so for instance, um, waking would, would, would be sort of alpha, um, beta, and um, slow gamma. Yeah. Um, now, that's a more intense wave. 
it's more dense. So waking, when you wake up, you're in a realm of density, matter. When you go to sleep, you're in a slower state where things become lighter, finer, more transient. So then you go into a dream world where it's not physical, it's non-physical. I mean, this is just scratching the surface of, of, of uh, and also you got, you got, because um, the more things are firmed up, the less possibilities there are. So this is why when we're in this realm, awake, um, or relative uh, waking state, we, we live in this three-dimensional realm of past, present, and future. And it seems real, it seems firm. But when mm. you enter uh, different states through meditation or um, sleep or lucid dreaming and things like that, things are more transient, things are more fluid. Pretty much anything can happen. Uh, and it's the realm of possibility. So when you go to sleep, you could literally dream about anything. You could travel the cosmos in a dream. You can actually actively manifest and, and, cre and, and create in real time as well. Yeah, and this is the importance of dreams. So um, I would say as we're getting closer to the singularity, we're getting more, more um, this is going to sound a bit kind of, a bit weird, but so for instance, <laughs> as people don't, get don't more be weird on my asleep, show, please. <laughs> uh, as humanity's getting more asleep in their waking state, it basically means that they're 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 conflating um, being asleep while simultaneously being awake in a three D reality. So uh, they're pretty much lost. Yeah. Well, yeah, and if you think about what's happening, not only have we, have we got these people who, or I say people loosely, who are essentially sleepwalking meat sacks in the physical yeah. 3D reality as we are right now, what we're potentially entering with the fourth industrial revolution is a whole extra layer of meat suit immersion into yeah. a, a sleepwalking state. But n literally not even that, because the meat suit is going to be essentially incapacitated while the consciousness is taken to another sleep walking state mm, yes. somewhere else. So the meat suit is just going to be in some sort of like just state of complete, like you've said before, hijackability. It's, it's going to be empty and void of any controlling mechanism while the consciousness yeah. is getting sucked up into, into the fucking Greta verse. Uh, yeah. It, and it, 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 you could see wow. And, and in any other way, that would be described as hypnosis or somnambulism. Because it's waking sleep. So this brings into question the Great Awakening and what what would it really look like to to wake up? It would look like the apocalypse. So, uh, well, you could you could say that uh, you could reverse that. So you could say you could be more awake when you're asleep, which would indicate lucid dreaming. Now, I would say historically, if we are to believe there is a history. Um, I would suggest that humanity had far more greater value in the sleep realm than the waking state. Yeah. And that's being taken away. So pe m m most people now have really bad sleep. Think about it. Uh, it's the number one killer. Poor sleep is the number yeah. one killer in America because the side effects of poor sleep um, it's pretty much everything, bad health, um, mental health problems. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 w I was famous for being able to, even if I'd had an early night the night before I could, when I was in my teens all throughout my childhood, in, right into my early twenties, I was able to comfortably sleep until two o'clock in the afternoon. And, um, you know, there was a stage in my life where I could do that in between jobs or university or whatever. And people would say to me, how can you waste the day? Wait, a terrible waste of your day by being asleep. And I said, well, you've obviously never experienced what happens when I'm asleep and when I dream. I'm not wasting anything. I said, if anything, I could be wasting my time while I'm awake. What I'm able to accomplish in, my, in, a, in an asleep state, in, a, in an REM dream state, is um, far superior 
to what I'm able to accomplish by going down the, the shopping. Chasing the Babylon money. Yeah, going down the shopping centre or going to the bus station. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what, what, what yeah. are the peasants talking about? You don't know what's going on when I'm dreaming. Yeah, and in those uh, Theta Delta states, um, you can access the fields of potential um, much easier than, than in any other state. So the potential, the, the possibilities are there. Now, if people are having bad sleep, that means they're not accessing that, which is, which is um, it's, it's a creator's gift to humanity. Now, while humanity is sleepwalking, you've got to ask the question, who is using all that potential and possibilities to create the, the, um, the dark forces who understand the science behind this. Maybe that's what the, the NPC operating system is. It's actually the sort of like Al, Al Gore's lower end operating system installed into loads of empty vessels that have been emptied by this, this essence extraction program Energy that's been going on. Thing so, you've, so you've got these open organic portals just waddling around. And, you know, we've seen the patents that, that the dark projects have got on basically this EMF technology where they can beam thoughts into people's heads. The Israelis are boasting they can already do that. That means they could probably do it 30, 40 years ago. So when, you know, Yuval Harari or Noah t talks about hackable humans, I've said it before. I said, this has already happened. This, we're talking post, post here, past tense. It seems that the people have clearly already been been uh, uh, usurped, already been hacked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already happened. That's why we we're experiencing what we're um, ex uh, describing on the show with great hilarity as some sort of clown apocalypse, where all of these people are basically bumbling just around meat sacks without any essence, like, yeah. acting like lemmings, just you know, offering themselves up to um, the Soviet Union's altar. There's only one way this could be accomplished if, if Noah's plan has already happened. The days of Noah. <laughs> that's, that's good. So Can we have a meme, please? Can someone make that meme? The days of Noah. <laughs> and we'll have Noah Harari. It's, yeah, how, talk about hackable humans. Just got empty meat sacks with big open NPC heads getting the, the, the waves coming from the, the pento jizzle wireless pentagram towers. Yeah, that that needs to be made into a short as yeah. well, Slick Rick. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's been a really good show tonight. Yeah, awesome. big shout out to uh, Inspector Veg. So I can still he, uh, see he's still in the uh, live chat there. Yeah, yeah no, imagine, good show. imagine, and, imagine um, how good Raw Treat's going to be with all of this energy when oh, all mate. like everyone that's ever been on the show, practically like, all of these people all coming together. It's going to be it's going to be uh, something to behold. I, I guarantee it. 